Today I'm going to take a look at the Stockade, a blaster that hasn't hit the States yet, but should relatively soon. I got mine off of Amazon UK to take a look at it beforehand. While this blaster does do well visually, it is a bit disappointing performance-wise. I was incredibly underwhelmed when I did my range test, hitting about 35 feet flat and 45 feet angled on stock voltages. I had to actually up the voltage to 6.4 just to get the elite ranges. This is a major disappointment for anyone who, like myself, really enjoyed the barricade. Because out of the box, the stockade just really doesn't make the cut. It's not to say that people can't or won't modify the stockade to help make it a more viable blaster, it's just that the strife seems to have advantages all across the board. This actually makes me think that they put the stock with the stockade just to help drive the sales on it. Which is a really good idea because the stock is fantastic. It's actually the best part of this blaster. The only real plus I could find on the stockade itself is that at stock voltages it does run quieter than the barricade, but you're not going to be running it at stock voltages most likely, so that pretty much negates that point. In my opinion, the only reason to buy this blaster is for the stock, and I think the stock is well worth the price. It provides some utility, kind of like the recon stock, but it doesn't feel near as flimsy. This thing feels solid and you can actually use it without fear of breaking the plastic. So that's my quick look at the stockade, and I hope it's helped inform some of you who might have been on the fence about the blaster, and I will see you guys next time.